staple in Dow, the Park Avenue Fest may not happen again this year. In a letter to County Executive Adam Bello, two Monroe County legislators are saying the event may not or will likely not take place. This, they said, due to the longtime promoter pulling out after the 2019 season, the pandemic, calling off 2020 and 2021, and a new promoter yet to be found. Christian Garzon joins us now live on Park Ave with what missing this celebration for a third year in a row might mean for the city, Christian. Well, Adam, this is usually an August standard here. Food, arts and crafts, and tons of people from the city, and tourists as well. A lot of money moving up and down here. This will likely be the third year in a row now with no Park Ave Festival. People here tonight saying this will be a huge loss again for the city of Rochester. Peter Gines of Gines on Park Avenue says the summer fest is always a great time. A great atmosphere, a fun atmosphere. You have a great, you know, uh, your customers come out, neighbors come out. But that extra foot traffic might not be coming here this year. Again. This, according to two Monroe County legislators. They said the business group has been unable to find a promoter to put on the festival. Jine says it's a shame. The celebration has a long-term impact on city natives and those visiting. The name is out there. You keep your name out there. You keep Park Avenue out there. It's on the forefront of people's minds. While nothing is official, Jine's speculating feels it likely won't happen. You know, it's not something that you can plan, you know, this late in the season. In a statement, Mayor Malik Evans says the festival is a staple of summertime, adding the city will support whatever direction the neighborhood decides is best, on or off. I usually go every year, honestly. It's a, a time to gather with friends. Giles Carley hearing it might be called off again. Well, he's just crestfallen. That's really unfortunate. I was really looking forward to it, especially with all the restrictions being lifted and whatnot. Kat Vernon says if it's called off, it's a loss for the whole city. It's like a fun time for everyone in the community to just like come together and yeah. just like kind of party. John Rivera works at the Blue Wolf Bistro on Park. Fest or no fest, he says he's still going to be making milkshakes. I, I care about the customers because, yeah. like, yeah. I, um, I'm the milkshake managers over there. Right, I make the yeah. delicious milkshakes over there. Best milkshakes in the city, right over there at the bistro, Adam and Teresa. Both legislators say it's vital now to plan for 2023 in the Park Ave Festival. Good planning. Live from Park Ave, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you so much. Christian Garzon reporting live from Park Ave, though. Officials from the Park Avenue Merchants Association, by the way, have yet to respond or comment on this matter. We'll keep an eye on it, of course. Teresa.